How you doing? Welcome back to Asset Podcast on YouTube. What I got here is Elf Lord number six from Aerosol, which was a Canadian insulation company <laughs> that ended up printing comics. And there's another comic I need because I want to show you. Look how the different size. This is slightly not as wide and not as tall as a normal comic. So I'm going to get that out of there. Captain Thunder and Blue Bolt from Hero. And y'all remember this shit? Probably not. All right, Elf Lord. This is one of those I'd heard about for years. I'd read. Fuck, what's the name of that series? Samurai. I read a couple things of Barry Blair. Knew of his reputation to an extent. Didn't know how deep it went. Found out. I was like, ooh. Barry Blair, just Google it and look it up. He was kind of... Okay. My understanding of it is, I might be wrong, is that he was grooming people. Kind of like John Kirkafresh from Ren and Stimpy. And he had a habit of drawing like... Young males without with almost no clothing on. All right. And this is the last black and white issue of Elf Lord. Ne Next month we'll have brand new Elf Lord number one, full color, full process color throughout. It's story by Gordon Derry, Barry Blair does pencil, inking is Craig Telefer, and lettering is Ewan Mark. And it's all works not bad. He's probably best known for um, he did a run on Elf Quest. And it looks real good. Air Cell is probably best known for, um, they published some of the very early artwork, or very early work from Dale Keown. And then they ended up getting kind of absorbed into Malibu and became like Malibu's adults imprint and Simidar. And I think there's like a Debbie Does Dallas comic. This is not bad. It's a fantasy, you know, kind of like his rip off of Elf Quest. And supposedly this sold fairly well. Um, this is one of the ones I found probably at some thrift store, junk store, something like that. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, it was 50 cents. I'll take a chance on it, and yeah, it's okay. Let me get another dragon ring. We get death collar. A little short here. Yeah, already ain't near as good on that. I do like the black and white artwork. Created in 1976, Elf Lord has always been a group effort. Because this is the last black and, white, black and white issue, we'd like to thank all those people who, over the years, helped build the legend. they got a long list of names here. Um, excuse me. Wendy Peeney. Wendy Peeney is one known name. That's the only real name I recognize on there. And then we get... And yeah, the back cover. Yeah, decent little comic. I guess the oddball size of it makes it stand out to me. And of course, Blair's reputation now. But hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. All the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.